That's the show, folks. Episode 200 in the bag. We are moving on. One episode free every week. If you want to get another episode, Patreon's $5 a month. If you have even more money, give us 20 a month. You get one extra episode a week plus a monthly, you know, two-hour long episode as well. Um, so that's the deal. If you don't have the money because things are fucked right now, everything we do here will always be free. You'll get four episodes every week, every month for free. You'll get all of our videos and shit like that 100% of the time for free. So don't worry. There's more than enough shit out there. If you have the money and you want extra stuff, it's a great way to support the show, and we appreciate it. Uh, but this has been 200 episodes, 200 hours of talking, really more, really more because we've done multi-hour episodes. Probably close to 250 hours of, of talking. It's a lot of talking. We started this in 2016 with the great Ray Kump. At the behest of Luis Gomez, I had done Legion of Skanks. I was doing some other podcasts. I had done a bunch of podcasts before. I did, did one called The Unbelievable Podcast. It was about aliens. I did the early Tim Dillon show with the guys from Queens Network in 2011 with Andrew Zarian. Um, and then eventually I started doing this show with Ray Comp out of the Gas Digital Studio, which was in Ralph Sutton's apartment. Um, of course, with Legion of Skanks, Lewis, love those guys. And then me and him and Nick still do a thing on YouTube, uh, Bastard Radio. Lewis, name that. We don't have to tell you that. You knew that, you knew that when you heard the name. Um, I got to start doing that better. I mean, I just do it on Zoom and my, my, my like, it, 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 people don't really complain about the sound quality, though. People have been so beaten down with everything they don't care. It's probably better if I hook up with a mic, but who cares? Um, but that's a fun show. But, yeah, and then we've been doing the Tim Dillon show. We left Gas because I moved to L.A. And we just wanted to go independent. It was time. And when did we do that? You moved to L.A. June 1st. And I think you went independent in, like, July or August. Yeah. You started the Patreon in September. Right? Yeah. yeah. So the show's been great. And the show's grown massively. We have uh, a few celebrity listeners. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Um, and the celebrities are Bill Gates, <laughs> Melinda Gates, uh, his team of killers that he's going to hire to yeah. descend on my apartment and kill me. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's been a wild ride. When I started podcasting, I didn't think it was going to be my career. I thought it was going to be something that I would do while I got my show on Comedy Central. How funny is that? I thought I, a podcast was going to be just a fun thing I could do to stay strong as a stand-up while I got my show on Comedy Central Network that now doesn't exist, essentially. As of a few weeks ago, it really doesn't exist. Um, so, especially, thank God I pivoted. The only reason I've been successful at anything, people ask me, like, are you a, are you a harder worker? Are you this, that, and the other thing? Sure, there's some innate talent or whatever, but the reality is I get bored easily. So I got bored with stand-up, and I still love stand-up. I still do it, but I got bored with it, so I started doing podcasting. And then I got bored with podcasting, so me and Ben started making content, videos, things like that to put on YouTube, social media. So the reality is, if, if you know, anything, I think it's about g getting bored, and doing new things, not stopping doing old things, but adding new things to your repertoire. And uh, we really, we really started doing the show, and the show became stronger because of Ben. Essentially, Ben and me have really made it into something that we both enjoy. We both enjoy doing, and we enjoy making these videos. We want, we want this to grow and get as big as you guys will allow it to get. Um. But yeah, I mean, from where we are now, even where we were a year ago or a few years ago, it's like, uh, you can't even, it's not, it's not identifiable. Yeah. And Joe Rogan's a huge part of that. By having me on the show, as much as he's had me on the show, and by, by, by promoting us and putting out our videos and everything like that, and, you know, that we, of course we don't forget that. And there's a lot of other people that have helped me out here too, but I mean, I'm not going to mention them by name because it's like, whatever, you know? <laughs> it's, you know, it wasn't the hugest help. It was fine. I mean, Joe's a bigger help, you know? Be honest, I'm not gonna go down a laundry list of you know people that are, we we get it. Okay, you know some of these other shows I've helped out by being on. Let's be honest. So the reality is, <laughs> the reality is that we're grateful. We're grateful for the heroes. Yeah. Anyone who's had me on their podcast, a hero, in my book, you're a hero. But it's been a wild ride. We are broadcasting at the end of the world. This is uh, this is the apocalypse. I know for most people it's not. They're selling shoes, you know, the sneakers. Cool. Uh, you know, the great thing about uh, this country and about civilization is like the longer and longer things like this go, the shutdown, the worsening economy, 
the, the the Black Mirror, whatever you want to call it, that 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 I I heard the Black Mirror was named that because it was like what a computer looks like when it's off. Yeah, is, yeah, that just looms larger and larger. That just grows. That just grows now as outside gets more dangerous or more contentious, uh, you know, as it looks, it's going to start looking worse. You know, cities are going to go bankrupt in states and they're not going to be able to keep anything up and the people are going to get angrier and they're going to, it's going to be civil unrest. It's going to be all that stuff, most likely. And as the outside gets uglier, you're going to fall into the computer. You're going to fall into that black mirror. You're just going to fall in there and then you're going to exist primarily digitally for the rest of your lives. I mean, this is, just what is going to happen. Some of you may hold out the last vestiges of freedom that you, you, you know, drink deep the wine of freedom. It's, there's not a ton left in your glass. I don't even mean some Orwellian government. I just mean that like everything is integrated itself into this, you know, you're fucked. I mean, every which way you're just going to, the future is digital. It's on a screen. Your friends are on screens. It's it's horrific. It's a horror. I hate it. it. Sucks. It sucks, and it's not real. And and a lot of the people that have gotten massive digitally, when you look at them, and they're, they're it's not like guys like Rogan who remember the other side. They remember real life, right. you know. But and he's a stand up, so he's always out there with people. But when you talk about these big YouTube guys, a lot of these guys that we meet out here that are big YouTube guys. And not even so much like Logan Paul, because those guys still are out in the real world. He's fighting. He's doing, like, real things. But then there are these guys who, like, never, they just exist online. And when you meet them, there's something missing. And I can't identify what it is. They're just, they're kind of not there. They're only alive if they're on a screen. There's something sick about it. There's something sad about it. And that thing will be the future. <laughs> I mean... It's unfortunate, but that's probably, I mean, I, not to deliver a dystopian. I mean, the show, the show for the last three years, I think it's been largely positive. And so I don't want to do a negative thing on the 200th episode because it's, it's, it's not me. It's not me and it's not what you expect. You know, start your business. It's going to be great. So hustle and grind, hustle, grind, hustle, grind, hustle, grind it out, grind it out, hustle it out, hustle, grind it out. But I will say this, man, I mean... We would always joke around about this situation that we now find ourselves in, broadcasting from a room as the entire world falls apart. This seems to be one of the only appropriate uh, art forms at the moment. Yeah. It does seem like that. It doesn't seem like it's, I don't know that I, I need to be at some, you know, comedy club while people are scarfing down chicken fingers. This this seems much more pertinent and this seems fitting. It really seems like it fits the time that we're in. I, I love live performance. I hope it comes back. It will come back. And, and I'll be out there doing it when it does come back. But there's just something about this that just for the moment, for the, for the moment, and maybe for the foreseeable future, feels right. And I'm very happy that we did this. You know, if you if you need, go get a potato and put a Marlboro Light in its mouth and watch that and then press play on your phone.